Hello, kids. I'm Aquadog, and welcome to the Palmdale Water District's video, Before the First Drop. Do you know where your water comes from, and what is the cost of water before one drop reaches your home? Well, sit back and watch this short video to find out the answers. Uh, have you ever wondered where the water you drink and use comes from? If you're a Palmdale Water District customer, your water comes from three different sources. The California Aqueduct, also known as the California State Water Project, Little Rock Reservoir, and groundwater wells that pump the water from the underground aquifer. Let's first talk about the California State Water Project. Here we are along the California State Water Project overlooking Lake Palmdale. Uh, where the water, Palmdale Water District receives up to 21,300 acre feet per year from the California State Water Project. And to put that in perspective, uh, one acre foot is equal to 325,872 gallons, or the equivalent of uh, one single family household, the water that they use in one year. Palmdale Water District typically receives approximately 50% of its annual water supply from the California State Water Project. The reliability of the California State Water Project varies from year to year. There are a number of factors that contribute to the reliability of this water supply, such as the snowpack in northern part of the state, uh, reservoir levels throughout the water delivery system, and also there's uh, numerous pumping restrictions having to do with the threatened species such as the Delta smelt. The second source of water for Palmdale Water District customers is Little Rock Reservoir. Historically, the Palmdale Water District has received 10% of its annual water supply from Little Rock Reservoir. The third source of water for the Palmdale Water District is, is through its 23 wells. These wells extract water from the underground aquifer and typically uh, supply up to 40% of the district's annual water supply. Typically, the water district spends up to $500,000 per year in electricity costs to operate these booster stations. In addition to the wells and booster stations, the district currently operates 20 water storage tanks, totaling 50 million gallons of water storage capacity. Okay, kids, listen up. It's time to review. Palmdale Water District customers get their water from three sources. The California State Water Project, known as the California Aqueduct, Little Rock Reservoir, and groundwater wells. One acre foot equals 325,872 gallons of water, or a football field flooded 12 inches high. The Water District operates 23 wells and 17 booster stations. The operating cost of wells and booster stations is up to $500,000 per year. We have approximately 414 miles of water pipe in the Palmdale Water District serving all our customers and businesses. Right now we have about 30 miles of uh, pipe that's over 50 years old. So um, there's a lot of maintenance that goes on each and every day that we have to maintain. And there's a definite cost factor to that. And our budget um, is typically over about 300,000 a year to maintain uh, our infrastructure on the pipes. Okay kids, listen up. It's time to review. There are approximately 414 miles of water pipe in the Palmdale Water District. There are over 30 miles of pipe over 50 years old that requires ongoing maintenance at a cost of $300,000 per year. Treatment is a big factor uh, in the costs before the first drop even reaches the customer's home. At the Leslie O'Carter Water Treatment Plant, 
We treat water to make sure that it is safe to drink for the customers of Palmdale Water District. But involved in that is a wide variety of technologies and processes and certified people to make sure that all those processes are running right. Now some of those processes are physical processes like filtration. And, but that requires filter media and requires energy to clean those filters on a regular basis. We also utilize chemicals in order to draw out a lot of the impurities that are in the water that occur there naturally. Another really good feature at uh, Leslie O'Carter Water Treatment Plant is our granular activated carbon polishers. And what that is, is one of the best available technologies for removing the widest variety of contaminants that can be found in water. But all these things do come with a cost. Uh, granular activated carbon usually costs us a little over a million and a half dollars every year to replace. Our chemicals that we utilize in the water treatment process are well over $500,000 every year. And then there's the energy portion of it. In order to push that water all around through the over 300 miles of pipelines and to push it through these processes takes a lot of energy and costs us a great deal of money. Okay kids, listen up. It's time to review. Treatment is a big factor in the cost of water, such as filtration and chemicals. Chemicals cost up to $500,000 per year. One of the best treatment processes for filtering water is granulated activated carbon. GAC costs over $1.5 million per year. A lot of electrical energy is needed to push the water through the system to your homes. Reliable service requires Palmdale Water District staff to be highly trained, certified personnel. And that is the cost of water before the first drop. And remember, use water wisely.